Hi viewers. Welcome to today's topic, peripartum cardiomyopathy. Peripartum is the period shortly before, during, and immediately after giving birth. Cardiomyopathy is a disease of the heart muscle that makes it harder for the heart to pump blood to the rest of the body. Due to unknown reasons, few pregnant women develop this form of heart disease. It happens in the last month of pregnancy or up to 5 months after giving birth. Peripartum cardiomyopathy is a rare type of heart failure that happens in late pregnancy or the early postpartum period. It is a condition in which the heart's chambers get bigger and the heart muscle gets weaker. In postpartum cardiomyopathy, the heart muscle doesn't pump blood as well as it should. The ejection fraction of the heart drops to less than 45%. It means less than normal blood is pumped out of the heart each time it contracts. How common is peripartum cardiomyopathy? 1 in 900 to 2000 pregnant women develops postpartum cardiomyopathy. Its incidence has been on the rise recently. The reasons are Rising rates of advanced maternal age and higher incidence of hypertension during pregnancy. Other reasons are the increasing incidence of hypertension, diabetes, and obesity among women of reproductive age. How to recognize the symptoms of peripartum cardiomyopathy? Some of the symptoms of heart failure, like swelling in the feet and legs, and some shortness of breath, can be easily mistaken for those of the third trimester of pregnancy, making postpartum cardiomyopathy difficult to diagnose. Some symptoms of the condition are Fatigue Feeling of heart racing or skipping beats, palpitations Increased nighttime urination Shortness of breath with activity and when lying flat Swollen ankles Swollen neck veins Low blood pressure or it may drop when standing up. Who is more prone to develop peripartum cardiomyopathy? A mother's age of 30 or more is a common risk factor. Black women have an increased risk. The presence of anemia and asthma in women increases the risk. Women who have high blood pressure during or before pregnancy are more likely to develop postpartum cardiomyopathy. Other risk factors are Women with obesity Women with thyroid problems Women with exposure to alcohol, chemotherapy Smoking Women with multiple pregnancies Poor nutrition how is the condition diagnosed? Echocardiography is the most useful test to diagnose postpartum cardiomyopathy. It helps calculate the ejection fraction of the heart. Ejection fraction is less than 45% in peripartum cardiomyopathy. What is the treatment for peripartum cardiomyopathy? Doctors suggest a low-sodium diet, a heart-healthy diet, and other precautions. Women are encouraged to quit their tobacco and alcohol consumption. There are several kinds of medications to treat symptoms. These medications include angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, beta blockers, and diuretics. Can the affected women feed the baby? If a woman has a severe form of the disease, she better stop breastfeeding. Other women with less trouble with their hearts should be able to breastfeed if they want to. Can peripartum cardiomyopathy be cured? How long does it take to recover from peripartum cardiomyopathy? Recent data suggest that 50-80% of women with peripartum cardiomyopathy recover to normal. Most of this recovery happens within the first six months. 
How can postpartum cardiomyopathy be prevented? Women can prevent peripartum cardiomyopathy by avoiding risk factors like smoking and alcohol consumption, eating a balanced diet, and engaging in regular physical activity. Can the affected women conceive again? After having peripartum cardiomyopathy, many women want to get pregnant again. Unfortunately, these women are at increased risk of acquiring peripartum cardiomyopathy again during subsequent pregnancies. Women with persistent heart problems will have a 50% chance of having severe heart failure and a 25% to 50% chance of dying. Such women are more likely to have stillbirths, abortions, and babies born early. Guidelines say that such women shouldn't get pregnant again. Women whose hearts became normal before their next pregnancy still have a 20% chance that their heart function would worsen. Such women should be under the constant supervision of a cardiologist.